Hey guys, so it's Savannah. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, let's talk. Usually I would never start off a video without makeup on for many reasons, but for today, as you can tell by the title, we are testing out Kylie Jenner's makeup line again, and I will explain why. I want to address a couple things real quick about my Kardashian video that I posted before we get into anything else. If you are unfamiliar, I posted a video on my channel um, last week, I think it was, by the time you're seeing this, or maybe it was two weeks ago by this point, I don't really know, but I posted a video recently where I tested out Kardashian. Jenner products and there's a couple things I want to talk about about that video before we jump into this and I'm gonna try and make it real quick first thing I want to talk about is this window a lot of people were really confused and upset they didn't understand why it was dark in the window when I was saying that it was a light outside I'm gonna show you something it's 3 46 p.m. right now that's what the window looks like that's what it looks like outside and the reason for that is because I live in the basement if that window is not a normal window It is a fire escape window. It is a decorative window. It has a rock wall behind it, but that's all it is It's really not a big deal second thing I want to bring up is I forgot Rob Kardashian's sock line Which I have been reminded of a lot and a lot of people are confused why I included Scott and I forgot to include Rob The honest answer is I forgot Rob. <laughs> I know he has a sock line. It just slipped my head That's the honest truth third thing I want to address which is what we are doing today is Kylie Cosmetics. A lot of people were very upset about how I portrayed Kylie Cosmetics. A lot of people didn't like the foundation that I used. A lot of people were saying it was my makeup application. A lot of people just had a lot of things to say and that is understandable. I put myself out there. I know it's going to happen. That is why we are here today because I'm going to give it another go. I also want to point out though that if you came here for a Jaclyn Hill video, if you came here for a Jeffree Star, if you came here for a James Charles, you came to the wrong place. I don't do makeup for a living. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. So when I'm doing makeup, I'm kind of just doing it as I go. We are starting from scratch today. I have a new beauty blender. I have new foundation that we are going to try that I've tried before, but we're going to try it with Kylie's products. We are just going to start all over and we're going to see. Maybe it'll work this time. I'm hoping that it does. A lot of you thought I had this like vendetta out for Kylie Jenner, which is like the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I don't have anything against Kylie Jenner. I spent money on her products. I want them to work. Come on. So we are going to start off with the primer. This is the Kylie Cosmetics primer. A lot of people also said that they had problems with this primer. I'm not exactly sure why. We're gonna just give it another go and hope that it works. I'm gonna scoot a little closer and make it even more uncomfortable. So I'm just going to take this and put it on my face. I also will say that when I made that video and when I was testing out Kylie's products, my skin was going through it. I'm gonna take off my rings. My skin was going through it. That could have had something to do with it. My skin has gotten a lot better since since then, that could have maybe had something to do with it. So the foundation that I've always used, you guys, is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And this is what it looks like. It is my go-to, it is my holy grail. I love this stuff. I think it works amazingly for me. Does that mean though that it might not work with Kylie Cosmetics? Yes. So this is the foundation that we're gonna be using today. These are the Vanish foundations from Hourglass. And I love these and I've been just mixing them together because this one's too dark, this one's too light. I've been mixing them together and it's been working for me really well. Okay. And so we are just going to go in I actually ended up going to Ulta and getting another one of the concealers This is the one that I used in the last video that I did and it is in the shade Birch, I think it is. Yes, and this one's in ivory. I don't know what the difference is between the packaging I'm kind of confused because they both say skin concealer. I do think I want to try this one out for today Okay this shade I do think matches me a little bit better than Birch did. And now we're gonna go back in with this beauty blender. Okay, that honestly doesn't look too bad. Okay, I am looking very oily right now, so I definitely want to get some powder and start baking. But the color I think is a lot better for me than Birch was. So we are just going to be taking the translucent powder and we're just gonna bake. Oop, okay. Oh my god. My pants right now, which by the way, I looked at your guys' comments from my Kardashian video, obviously. Duh. A lot of you were talking about the good American jeans and saying that they actually were really good jeans. You just need to size down in them. So I did. That is what needed to happen. I am wearing a pair right now and I'm obsessed with them, but I got a size six in the good waist and they're just like better, I think. This is already looking way better than it was last time. So maybe you guys are right. Maybe it was my foundation. So while that bakes, we are going 
going to move on to brows. Just like last time, we are going to be using this Kai Brow in medium brown. And then I have my Anastasia brow pencil. So I'm just going to be running through my brows with this real quick. She's cute. So here's what we're gonna do for eyes because last time I used a Kylie eyeshadow. I don't want to do that this time. What we are gonna do is take her bronzer and this is going to act as our eyeshadow. Um, and just for reference, cause I do know that some people were curious as to what eyeshadow I got. It is called Night Swim by Kylie Cosmetics, obviously. <laughs> and this, oh, hi. This is what it looks like. And it's super pretty. I don't want a glittery moment right now. But I will say the eyeshadow was my favorite thing last time. So it did work and it did stay on. So that was nice. <laughs> okay, so this is just the, her tequila tan bronzer. This is what it looks like. It has like her cool little dripping mark on it, which I actually really like. I think it's really nice. It's very subtle, but I mean... Okay, we'll like go in. Okay, this bronzer isn't the most pigmented, which I mean, it's buildable, which is nice. So if you like that, you'll like this. So now we are going to pat this out. Okay, it actually doesn't look uh, bad. We're going to put on some eyelashes. Someone commented last time and said, you didn't put on eyelashes because you wanted it to look bad. What? <laughs> But the reason I wanted to do this is because there's something that you guys are seeing that I wasn't. So that is why I wanted to try it again. You guys are right. Um, I think some of the products are a lot better than how I initially saw them. So the lashes that I use, by the way, are the Ardell 105 Glamour Lashes. They are my favorite lashes. Um, I think that they're very versatile. Like, So we are just going to go in and bronze my face with that tequila tan. Okay. So this is what the contour looks like now. I'm also just going to make sure that it's like in my hairline. Okay, so now we are just going to go in with some mascara, put it all together. Oh, yes, come through. I love these lashes, they are so great. So now that we've done that, I'm going to use my own highlighter. I'm not using the jelly highlighter again. I'm sorry, I know. It didn't look good last time, and I don't think jelly highlighters are like meant for me. So we're not using that. We're just gonna use this. This is my go-to favorite highlighter in the world. I love it. I just put a little setting spray on this Makeup Forever brush, and we're just gonna... Okay, my camera just charged for a little bit and then I highlighted my nose and my inner corner. Now we get to move on to lips and I'm really excited. So for lips, I have two different Kylie lip liners that I had before all of this happened, um, before I made the video. Coco K and I have, I think this is Exposed and I kind of want to use Exposed. La -dee da. I definitely need to sharpen this and that's my bad, but I don't really want to. I actually really like her lip stuff. Like I think her lip stuff is her best stuff, honestly. So then I also got this lipstick when I went to go get the other concealer and this is in Butterscotch. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna put it, let's zoom you back in. Hi, we're getting uncomfortable again. I'm just gonna put it like, oh, it's like really creamy. I'm just gonna pat that in. All right, so the last step is the setting spray. So we are just going to go through. We did it! Here's the thing, I think it's the primer. I think that this looks way, way, way better than it did when I did this a couple weeks ago. But what I will say is I think it's the primer that is the problem. If there's one like problem product out of any of this, I do think it's the primer. I do think this foundation works better, like the Vanish foundation from Hourglass, I think that does work a lot better. But this primer, there's something in it that my skin doesn't vibe with. It's not really like pore perfecting, and that's really what I go for is like a smoothing primer, like a blurring primer is what I really like. But with that being said, it might work for you. It just doesn't really work for me. I would use these products again. The primer is just not my favorite. Everything else works pretty well. The bronzer could have a little bit more pigment, but that is about it. So I'm happy that you guys gave me enough shit to want to try it again. I want to really quickly though, before I go, um, thank you guys because we reached 400,000 subscribers. We reached 400 freaking thousand subscribers. 400,000. 400,000. 
thousand subscribers and i'm so shook and i just can't believe it and when i was not expecting it to happen it happened yesterday on november 4th i was not expecting it to happen i was just refreshing my app because i have like the subscriber app that you refresh and it tells you how many subscribers you have and i refreshed the app and it told me i had 400 000, and i was like what like i've been stuck in the, like the 380s and the 390s for so long that i was absolutely shook and just so not expecting it literally so much for that you guys are my absolute world and this this makes me so happy and like seeing those numbers is absolutely crazy because I remember when I first started my channel I was thinking of like how cool it would it be to be have like 5,000 subscribers and 10,000 subscribers and those numbers still hold so much weight in my heart and I still was like just as appreciative then as I am now even more so honestly and I'm really really thankful for you guys so thank you so much for sticking by me all this time the three-year anniversary of my channel is coming up on january 1st and i couldn't be more excited but it's so crazy thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit the post notification bell that way you never miss a video go check out my podcast it's killer instinct on spotify and apple playlists or apple podcast sorry and with that being said i will see you in my next video bye guys